I want to just touch real briefly about home groups. And I don't want you guys to be afraid that home groups go something like that. It goes a little bit different, okay? So don't be too worried about that. But home groups is something that we do in our church that we come together in different groups with different ages, uh, girls with girls, guys with guys. And we break into groups and we come together and we talk about Christ, but not only do we just talk about Christ, but we pray for each other, we build each other up about the vision, knowing that God has a purpose for each and every one of our lives. And that is a place where we can know God's plan for our lives. See, some of you guys may know is that the enemy has a huge plan for you. He has a divine plan for you, and that is to kill, steal, and destroy your life. And he's not going to stop until he does that. And one of the things that home group does is that it gives you life. It builds you. It lets you know what you're made for, what you're called to do, what you can do, that you will have potential to be a leader, to rise up other people, to have purpose. And I know that's a really huge contrast to say, well, if I don't go to a home group, will I not know my purpose? You have a high chance of not knowing what your purpose is. And when you go into a home group, you get to get that prayer. You get to get that impartation of the vision and of that purpose. And I want to use an analogy um, about zebras. And I know that's kind of a little bit random, but I went to South Africa uh, uh, just last week, a couple of weeks ago, and I had the privilege to go to a lion park. Now, it was super amazing where we got to see lions, cougars, we saw giraffes, we saw all sorts of different animals, and we saw zebras. And that was really neat. And yes, not just their print of their skin, but also because it was very fascinating fact that the young lady was giving us when she was giving us a tour over the park. She was telling us some interesting things about the zebra. And what she said, one of the things is that the zebra is very social, okay? It's a very social uh, animal and they like to live with herds. They live among herds. They move with herds. They live with herds. They run with herds. They're always together. And it's not just because they're social, but they also have a very interesting tactic. So when they live amongst a herd, it is very hard for the predator, lion, to get a hold of the individual. Because it actually, he can't get a hold of the individual because he sees the whole group. Now, when the zebra moves together, as they're running together, as they're moving together, the, actually the lion gets confused because, what, because of their amazing print, as they're moving and running fast, it actually confuses the lion because he cannot see the beginning or the end of an individual. All he sees is a complete blur and this huge black line. Okay, he sees a huge black line and he cannot attack them because they are together. And what my point is, what I want to bring out is that on 1 Peter 5.8, 5, 5, it says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. The enemy is looking for you to be alone, to be isolated. That's what he wants you to do. But what a home group does is it creates a community. It creates a family where you're always together, just like those zebras. They're always together. They're always in a herd that causes confusion to the predator that he cannot get a hold of that individual. He cannot get a hold of that person because they are together. And maybe some of you guys are thinking, well, you know, I don't want to be in a group. I can always grow by myself. Some of you you guys have a goal that you guys want to grow quick. You guys want to be successful quick. We have this mentality. Sometimes we just want to, you know, go on a high speed. I want to grow spiritually fast. I want to go this, this fast by yourself. But the interesting thing about a lion is that the lion is actually not one of the fastest animals out there. But in contrast, they actually hunt the most fastest animals in the world. Okay, he's not, the lion itself is not fast, but they hunt the most fastest. So what do I mean by this? Is that the enemy is not intimidated by speed, but he's intimidated by who you're with. Okay, so some of you are like, I want to move fast. I want to grow fast. I want to do this, this, this. But you know what? The enemy is not afraid of your speed or how fast you grow. Okay, just like that lion. He might be even slower than you, but if you're by yourself, he'll catch you. But if you're together, 
He's intimidated by that. He gets confused. He can't find you. He can't seek you out because you're together. And when you're moving together, just like our church, just like our vision, you cannot, you will escape the enemy's prowl. You will escape his plan for you. You will escape the fact that he wants to kill, steal, and destroy you. But when you're in a home group, when you're established, when you come as a herd, I want to tell you, there is power with who you're sitting by. There is power with who you're talking to. I want to tell you is that you can escape the enemy's plan and walk into the destiny of God. Amen? So today, I want to tell you is that if you're thinking that home group is not powerful, it is absolutely powerful. It is not just, hey, come on by on Sunday. It's a must in your spiritual walk with God. If you're looking for something to, if you're looking to grow, if you're looking for something to uplift you, if you're looking to be more than just a person on a pew, and I know every single one of us wants that, amen? Every single one of us in this world are looking for that void, and that void is to fulfill our purpose, and that purpose is found being around people that have found that purpose, amen? So I encourage you is to find yourself in a home group. Ask, if you don't know who is a home group leader, there's a board, just like you saw Louise in the video. He definitely uh, stamped himself on there. There's a bunch of faces that are home group leaders. Ask someone, get yourself connected. I'll tell you one thing, you will never be the same again, amen? Amen. You guys, we also have something in store for each and every one of you is that we want to release a few home group leaders today. We want our pastors to anoint them, to bless them, because they're going to start revival. Amen. So we want to call each and every one of them by name. The first one, if I can have Tim come to the front. You guys give them a hand of applause as they come to the front. We have Slavic. If we can have Slavic to the front, please. Tatiana, Brian Astley, Brian, Zaki, Louise, and Tanya. You guys, these are our next home group leaders that we're releasing. We're going to know that one thing, that healing is going to come behind them, that transformation is going to happen. A huge revival is going to happen. Amen. So you guys, let's stretch your hands right now as the pastors are going to pray for them, anoint them with oil. We're going to just stretch our hands. So everybody, just stretch your hands and be, let's begin to pray and bless them. Lord, we thank you so much for every individual that has devoted, Father, Lord, the purpose, Lord, the plan that you have for them, God. And we just pray that God, that you would anoint them, Father. I pray, God, that the, as they carry the mantle, Lord, I pray that healing, Lord, would come through their hands. Transformation would come, Lord. Lord, that they will begin to lead others, Lord. That they'll begin to transform the people that they have in their home groups, Lord. Let them multiply, Father. Let, let them be the leaders of this generation, God. I pray, Father, for an increase of anointing, Father. A new level, Lord, that will come and arise, Father, in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, we thank you for the blessing. We thank that your righteous hand is upon them, God. We pray that you, Father, will move through them, God. Speak through them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, and let wisdom, Father, be with them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody said, amen, amen. amen. You guys, give them another hand of applause.